everyone. Thank you for tuning into my Jesus Taught Me channel. Today I will be reading about false prophets. I'm going to read Matthew 7 verse 15 through 23. False prophets. Be aware of false prophets who come to you in sheep clothing, but underneath are ravenous wolves. By their fruit you will know them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from tassel? Just so every good tree bears good fruit, and a rotten tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a rotten tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. So by their fruit you will know them. The true disciple. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, do we not prophesy in your name? Do we not drive out demons in your name? Do we not do mighty deeds in your name? Then I will declare to them solemnly, I never knew you, depart from me, you evildoers. Friend, this is just to say, who are we listening to nowadays? There, there are so many doctrines out there, so many cults, so many religions, so many movements. People, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ warn us about false prophets. False prophets that will pretend to be doing the work of God when in fact they are doing evil work. They are not doing the work of God. Therefore, my message for today is to motivate everyone to focus on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I remember even in the Bible when Lord Jesus called Simon Peter to walk on the water. Simon Peter was able to walk on the water as long as he had his eyes focused on Lord Jesus Christ. The minute he doubted, he sank. People, we live in a time where we need to focus our eyes on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and only listen to the true word of God, which is the Bible. I again invite, motivate and encourage everybody to open your Bible and to read the word of God. It truly will take, it's very passionate and it will take you into a journey to get to know God. The best way to get to know God and his purpose for your life is to read the word of God, is to read your Bible. It would give you understanding, it would give you meaning, and it would give you strength to keep up the good fight and stay focused on Jesus. None of us are perfect. None of us can stand um, on judgment day before God the Father based on the lives that we have we have lived i don't care how nice you are i don't care how righteous you are <sighs> i don't care how many prayers you say every day we are on perfect beings none of us can stay can stand in front of him sure i'm sure possibly um if we could stand before god on judgment day and be perfectly holy and perfectly righteous I don't believe that God would throw us into the lake of fire, but who can? Who among us on this planet Earth can truly stand before God with no sin, no sins at all, from the moment that you were born to the moment that you die, which we will all die. I mean, one day the light will turn off and you will be by yourself with how you lived your life and with where you put your faith into. This is why it is so important nowadays to put your faith into our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He is the salvation of this world. He is the only way. Even the Bible says, our Lord Jesus Christ himself, himself said in the Bible, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. There is no other way. There is no other religion. There is no other prophet. There is no other way. Lord Jesus Christ is the only way to God the Father. The blood of Lord Jesus Christ is the only way 
the only intercessor between our sins and our Holy Father God. The blood of Lord Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven because we are all sinners. We have all sins and according to our sins, we are all condemned to be in hell. The only way not to go there is to put your faith and your trust in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And it's a journey because he teaches you. That's why he's called the teacher. He teaches you. He teaches you through his words. Therefore, people, please pick up your Bible, read the word of God, seek Jesus, call upon him, and learn his teaching. Abide by the Holy Spirit and allow the Holy Spirit to abide in you. That means that you must listen to the Holy Spirit. You must listen to the word of God. And in order to listen, you have to train. It's basically a training. And it's really not that difficult. All you have to do is pick your Bible and read. And listen. Read and listen. Read and listen. And just like Simon Peter, show us the example, or Lord Jesus Christ, show us the example through Simon Peter. We need to focus our eyes on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Focus on Jesus. As long as you focus and keep your eyes on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, no matter what you go through, you'll get through it. If your mom and dad abandon you, Lord Jesus Christ will never abandon you. If your brothers and sisters abandon you, Lord Jesus Christ will never abandon you. If your friends abandon you and betray you, Lord Jesus Christ will never abandon you. If your, your aunt and your cousin and your co-worker and who and who betrays you, Lord Jesus Christ will never abandon you. There is none like him. It's a friendship unmatched like no other. So I invite you today, my friends, to please make Jesus your friend. Get to know him. Call upon him. Read his word. Listen to his Holy Spirit. Obey his Holy Spirit. And you will have a friendship that nobody can ever provide to you but him. He made us so we can have a relationship with him. We all need Lord Jesus. We all need Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, people, that is my message for today. I will see you next week. And actually next week, um, I would show you some meditation on some different chaplet to um, help us meditate um, on the word of God and help us go through life through depression, anxiety, and just have self-control to get through this life that we all know it's not easy and we are all navigating that day by day, one day at a time. But when you have Lord Jesus Christ with you, it's a much better day. Okay, people, I will see you again next week. Thank you for watching, and I hope you pick up your Bible and read the Word of God. Bye. Thank you so much for watching.